Hey everyone, welcome back to URE. I'm Brittany, your teacher today. In this video, let's watch a short, funny scene from the series Friends Together. In this scene, Chandler and Phoebe are at a jewelry store, negotiating the price of a ring. How do you think they'll manage to negotiate? Share your ideas in the comments. Stay tuned till the end to master some handy expressions that are used all the time when shopping. Before we get started, let me talk about our method. First, we will watch a clip without subtitles and see how much you understand. Then, we'll re-watch the clip with subtitles to pinpoint important phrases. Finally, you'll learn how to use and pronounce the phrase. Okay, let's get started. Chandler and Phoebe chose a ring. How did Chandler feel about the ring? Was he excited or not? Oh my God, that's it, that's the ring. <laughs> Chandler was very happy because he thought he found the perfect ring. Let's watch it again. What exactly did he say to show his excitement when he found what he wanted to buy? Oh my God, that's it, that's the ring. <laughs> Chandler said, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. This means that a product is exactly what you're looking for. That's equals that is. That's. That's it. Oh, that's it. I'm looking for a blazer like this. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, back to Chandler. What did Chandler ask about after he found the perfect ring? Oh my God, that's it, that's the ring. <laughs> How much is it? Chandler asked about the price of the ring and Phoebe wanted to help him with that. It seems like she's ready to bargain. So what did they say to ask about the price? Watch the scene again and pay close attention to their question. Oh my God, that's it, that's the ring. <laughs> how much is it? Chandler and Phoebe asked, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? This question asks about the price of something. How much is it? Much is it? Excuse me, I want to buy this necklace. How much is it? 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 Another common way to ask about the price of something is, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? They have the same usage, so you can use either of them. So, how much is the ring? Let's watch the next scene to find out the price. Chandler, I, I will handle this. How much is it? 8,600. We will give you $10. <laughs> the ring cost $8,600 or $8,600. Phoebe thought it's too expensive. So she wanted to bargain. And the price she gave was only $10. <laughs> now that's a surprising number. Watch the scene again. And this time, I want you to pay attention to how Phoebe offers the price. What exactly did she say? Chandler, I, I will handle this. How much is it? 8,600. We will give you $10. Phoebe said, we will give you $10. We, or I, will give you the amount of money. We'll give you $212.60. I'll give you $50,000. This means to offer the amount of money you're ready to pay for something. We, will, is the same as we'll. I, will, is the same as I'll. We will give you $100 for this hat. 
or I will give you $40 to buy this lighter. We'll give you $212.60. We'll give you $212.60. I'll give you $50,000. I'll give you $50,000. Okay, back to the conversation. Phoebe offers a very low price. What did the sales assistant say after he heard it? We will give you $10. <laughs> Are you interested in this ring? The salesman was surprised. He wanted to check if Chandler and Phoebe would actually like to buy the ring. What exactly did he ask? We will give you $10. <laughs> Are you interested in this ring? He asked, Are you interested in this ring? Are you interested in something? So, um, <clears throat> are you interested in more pralines? Are you interested in this ring? This asks if the customer or someone is interested in buying a product or something. Interested. Interested in. It links interested in. Are you interested in this bracelet? Are you interested in this coat? So, um, <clears throat> are you interested in more pralines? So, um, <clears throat> are you interested in more pralines? Are you interested in this ring? Are you interested in this ring? Back to Chandler. Does he want to get this ring? What's the price he offered? Watch the next scene to find out the answer to this question. Are you interested in this ring? Yes, yes, but I can only pay $8,000. What number did you hear? That's right. $8,000 was the price Chandler could pay for the ring. Now, I want you to watch the scene again. And this time, pay attention to the way Chandler offered the price. What exactly did he say? Are you interested in this ring? Yes, yes, but I can only pay $8,000. Chandler said, but I can only pay $8,000. But I can only pay amount of money. But I can only pay $8,000. But I can only pay half. This means that this is the maximum amount of money you can pay. You can't pay any more than this price. But I can only, but I can only pay. But I can only pay $200 for this bracelet. But I can only pay $50 for this t-shirt. But I can only pay $8,000. But I can only pay $8,000. But I can only pay half. But I can only pay half. Back to Chandler. The maximum amount of money he could pay for this ring was $8,000. Was he able to get the ring with that price? Did the sales assistant say yes or no? Let's watch the next scene to find out the answer. But I can only pay $8,000. Okay, I can let it go for eight. Ah, congrats, Chandler. The sales assistant agreed with that price. But how did he say that? Let's watch the scene again and pay attention to the expression the sales assistant used to agree with the price. What exactly did he say? But I can only pay $8,000. Okay, I can let it go for eight. The sales assistant said, I can let it go for eight. I can let it go for amount of money. I can let it go for eight. I can let it go for two. This means that you agree to sell something with this price. Let it for, or some people can say fu. Let it go fu. I can let it go fu. I can let it go for. $1,500. I can let it go for $20. I can let it go for eight. I can let it go for eight. I can let it go for two. I can let it go for two. Okay, 
So they agreed with the price of $8,000. What did they talk about next? How would you like to pay? Uh, credit card. They talked about the payment method. Was your answer correct? What exactly did the salesman ask Chandler? Let's listen again. How would you like to pay? 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 This is to ask about the paying method. Would you? Would you? How would you like to pay? I'd like to take this shirt. Sure. How would you like to pay? 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 So, how would Chandler like to pay? Cash or cards? How would you like to pay? Uh, credit card. Did you get the answer? Chandler said credit card. Credit card. How would you be paying for this? Credit card. Credit card. This is a small plastic card given by a bank that lets you buy things and pay for them later. Credit. Credit card. Ugh. I forgot my wallet, but I can pay with my credit card. Another common type of card to pay for things is a debit card. Debit card. The difference is that this type of card lets you use your own money from your bank account to buy things. How will you be paying for this? Credit card. How will you be paying for this? Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Okay, quick fire round. How much do you remember? Question one. What do you say when you want to know how much something cost? A. How many is it? B. How much is it? C. How much it is? The answer is B. How much is it? Question 2. If you need to politely ask if someone wants to buy something, what do you say? A. Are you interested in this? B. Do you want this? C. Are you happy with this? The answer is A. Are you interested in this? Question 3. How do you ask someone about their preferred way to pay? A. How does pay? B. How you pay? C. How would you like to pay? The answer is C. How would you like to pay? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more valuable content. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, practice makes perfect. Catch you in the next one.